All right, well, weather has forced me to freshwater fish before it's saltwater fish, but uh, uh, the big news is my first destination is blocked because they put a big fence around this pool. This pool that I know is jam-packed with exotic fish. Oh, I can't even get down there with these stupid spiderwebs. Um, There's nothing I can do here. Yeah. So I'm illegally parked across the street uh, at a ditch down the road from the pond. All right, so uh, the place that I wanted to fish is now fenced in. So I'm trying a little canal down from this pond. It's a pond full of exotics. I can see about a hundred little exotic fish right here. The question is, can they see me? Will I be able to hook them? Oh, then they're scattered. <sighs> well, they spooked easily. Um, the black chin or chin strap, I think it's called a chin strap tilapia or cichlid. That's what it is. The big find here, and man, I, I really want to get one of those. Those look like garamis, if that's how you pronounce it. But I've got about an hour before the place across the street opens and my, you know, makes my car, uh, really, spider webs, uh, illegally parked. Well, it's illegally parked now, but they're not open yet, so I would imagine that I could at least get by for another half an hour. Uh, or at least as long as, I've already had my car towed once overnight last night. Parked somewhere where I've parked a hundred times. All right, so, hmm, that was very promising to see those fish. Oh, now they're all over there. All right, after five, kind of five scounded spots, had no access. I'm trying somewhere near a scouted spot that has a bunch of fish because I saw them all scatter. I just don't know. Let's see, how deep is this? Uh, might need to make it a little shallower than that, although it does seem to be drifting. Uh, this, is a, this is a little in, inlet or outlet or whatever to a lake, a little private pond, so that explains what the fish are doing here. This rain should give me cover for the fish that spooked. It doesn't seem to be happening that way, does it? No, no fish seem to be here. Oh, no, except this one. Uh, it's uh, what I figured they were, blue tilapia. It's a very precarious, uh, oh, no, 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 I can't do that because you'll die. Oh, it's not a blue tilapia, I don't think. Let me look. As I say, very precarious hill here. It's not a blue tilapia, it's some sort of uh, Texas cichlid. Yeah. That's one of those Texas cichlid hybrids. Beautiful. All right. Texas cichlid hybrids, I don't know, I don't really mean that it has to be a hybrid. There are four species, all right, check, I want to show the other side and you landed on, of the Texas cichlid that I know of, well, actually six. A few of which I've caught, beautiful fish. Great cichlid spots, stripes in the back, classic Texas cichlid head, spot on the tail. Pink cheek, you see the uh, the azure blue dots throughout. Really nice, nice catch. I, I wasn't congratulating myself, I was just saying, that's a great fish. All right, I need to see how, might be worth even fishing that lake. Oh, I see fish. They are all over the place here, little fish. 
It was too shallow there. And that's been the problem with the access. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's a lot. Um, yeah, I see at least four different species down there, just from shapes and colors. Uh, the the uh, ditches have been too shallow, inches deep, with no fish in them. So this is uh, this is definitely high level of difficulty uh, constantly. Okay, I can't see them anymore. Unfortunately, this is going to be a... Oh, it's another beautiful fish, another cichlid. Oh yeah, another beautiful Texas style. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. I don't know if it's like a minky or, or what. That's a different style, different species than before. Look, it's got the... Uh, Fluorescent green spots all over, face full of fluorescent blue, beautiful. Yeah, oh, that was another cichlid. Don't look kind. Well, it was a Texas, but. Stop. Oh, that was a nice one to shoot. I think that got me. Yeah, shoot. Oh, Ooh, there's a nice size something there. It's not, you feel me, it's you steal me. Oh, that's a new one. Looks like a jewel cichlid. Oh, it is a jewel cichlid. Oh my gosh, it's one of those that I don't, I've never caught before. I think it's one of those real, well, no. Who knows? I'll have to check it out. Um, it's like a two spot. A lot of red, blue, iridescent flakes everywhere. What a pretty fish. All right. Oh, no, no, come on now. It might be, it might be a blood red. But the red, oh my gosh, look at this. Iridescent. Iridescent. Spots. Man, it's gorgeous. So it's probably a blood red. Such a gorgeous fish. Alright, and I think the big one I see down there is uh, one of those giant jewel cichlids, which giant being a very relative term, you know, four or five inches. Um, forget that the name of it. I, I never. Like a red. In there, really beautiful, and it's like the demarcation is almost like a straight line between the brown back and the red belly. Mm. The fish, hard. That's another jewel, I think. No, nope, tilapia. This might be a blue. I see stripes throughout. No, nope. no, it's the same as the second one. Beautiful, man. The first one might have just been the same, but with uh, fewer stripes. Really beautiful fish, goodness. None of these are Rio Bravo. Rio Bravo. Are you over Macho Grande? I don't think I'll ever be over Macho Grande. Um, none of these are Rio Grande. Or as Americans say, Rio Grande. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, wow, that's a nice big one right there. Just, just turn on the side. And he got it. And that's him. That's a blue. That's a blue. Finally a blue. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's a nice big blue. Oh, yeah, pretty fish. Those are the big ones I saw in there with the kind of the white, dark, light. Yep, unbroken. That's a blue. Unbroken stripes on the uh, tail. Pretty sure that's indicative of a blue. Also indicative of blue, each worm. Hmm, pretty fish. It's a nice size for micro blue. The 
Oh, we got the. Oh, there's a jewel. Oh, he's got the. Oh, it's jewel again. I keep seeing his red belly flop up. There he is. Oh, you know what? He's in a nest, I think. Oh, much darker. Oh. Nope, same kind. Same kind. Uh, wow, that's pretty. Look at that Sakahachi. He might have been trying to nest because he, he did not or she did not. Get one half a care. A dark red there. Beautiful striping or, or striping of the spots. Just. Oh. Uh, it's as beautiful as I am idiotic. So I'm gonna just watch them and retrieve them rather than walk up there and exhaust myself. Uh, the only really bad thing would be if I idiotically kicked the worm box in, which is a, not a small possibility. All right, go ahead, eat it. Eat it. I see you just looking at it. Eat it with your mouth, not your eyes. Almost have it. Almost have it. You got it. This might be... This might be a real grand. And it is. Real grand cichlid. All right. Another species. Oh, look at that. A big telltale hump on his head. In his mouth very very unique to them it's funny because the first time i caught one called it a jack dempsey or i guessed it oh that's a big one that's a nice one it might be uh no probably not my pb but it's in the ballpark it's the one i caught i only have one and it, oh, it's not too big just a beautiful fish all right So I've, I've been thwarted, put forth a lot of effort today, but uh, you know, it's all, so you can find just one spot like this, man. Sometimes it's just one spot like this, that's all that matters. That's all you need, I mean, to make your day. This one looks like a standard blue. No, it's not, it's another one of those, uh, if I didn't know better, I'd say it looked like a, uh, <laughs> a salmon cichlid, but without the yellow belt or the red belly. This looks like it might be a Texas blue hybrid. It's got the blue stripes and the, but the Texas markings, and then it's got the um, jewelfish uh, spots. Really crazy. Um, I think this is the one with the blue spots on his face, a minky maybe. Really pretty. That's a nice one. Definitely not the same species as the others. I should probably stop trying to identify them when they're in the air, because I've only got one right, I think, so far. Well, the jewel cichlid was obvious. It's not, not really one I can take credit for getting right. And these guys are hungry. There's no cover here at all. They're just swimming around in the open water. You know, maybe four inches of water. Oh, shoot. That wasn't even a bite. That was just the bobber stopped moving. Oh, and again. Hmm. That was a bite. Uh, there. Pretty Texas type. Yeah. Oh, this is... Uh, this, I think, is, oh, you know what, I think there's another hybrid type. Closest I can guess is a really small, um, Rio Grande. Although, it, it's got the head of the other, the other type, so I have to, all of these I will have to research when I get home. <laughs> 